Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Alan Wake. It is middle of the day, which means it's the perfect time to play this game. <laughs> Last one, we started getting attacked by pipes and bulldozers. Next, the coffee mugs are gonna attack us. I'm quite worried. We also had a lot of revelations because of the investigation work that Barry did. <laughs> we learned that Barbara Jagger, the one that we're seeing or that Alan created, he says he created her, but it seems that she was already her she was already taken when thomas zane was there before if that makes sense you know i'm explaining this horribly we know that barbara jagger died a week before the explosion in the 70s you know that thomas zane and barbara jagger were in love according to cynthia weaver who is i think the lady that is like flipping on all the light switches saying don't, don't go in the dark so she must have seen something you know she's definitely seen some stuff i think this light that keeps talking to us it has to be Thomas Zane, that'd be my guess, that he's the light. We also know that someone's hired like this, the kidnapper of Alice to kill us or kidnap Alice. I don't even know what his whole plan was, but he was hired for it. <laughs> That's what we do know. It also seems that this darkness likes writers for some reason. I don't know why yet. We don't know why, but it liked Thomas Zane. And then apparently it got excited again once Alan stepped foot into I almost said Night Springs, but this is not called Night Springs. <laughs> you know, let's just jump into it. Oh, shotgun ammo. I'm out of battery. Okay, I'm full on batteries, not out. Yes, let's continue. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Pump action. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh god. I'm so scared. <laughs> Which way should we go? for the price of one. Oh, I don't want to waste too many bullets. Let's reload everything too. No surprises this time. Are you guys... Epic dodge. Hold on, I'm reloading. <laughs> Is there a reason for me to be over here? <laughs> there better be a page. <laughs> Still haunted by the other page. There's too many of you. Mm -hmm, I'm guessing so. No. Get out of here. There's so many. Help. And should I have gone that way? Do you think this is a giant circle? The light. 
Okay, this is definitely the right way. I'm gonna go this way then. There's a little house over here. Or is it just a hill? <laughs> Am I crazy? Oh no, there is. <laughs> I was like, I swear I saw a roof, but then this <laughs> had me confused. Grab everything. <laughs> Strategic. <laughs> Come in here. Nice. Okay. Um, let's look around. <laughs> Every time I play, my contacts get dry. <laughs> I think I just need to blink more. <laughs> you hiding any pages out here? That was a pretty good stash you had in there. I will say. No pages though? Am I crazy? Nothing. Okay, let's go. I'm out of here. I check over there? Oh, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> but I'm going to, because I need to know if there is another page. Okay. Full circle. I'm going back. Maybe at the end of this one, I'll go through all the pages and read them. I still don't think that they're um, in order. Oh, yeah. Barry's also... Jesus. I don't want to play that game. try to turn that light on but I panicked <laughs> the light oh I'm safe <laughs> no The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Maybe. If... <laughs> I mean, I feel like I could have her. Maybe that's, like, that's why I think that he doesn't want to meet during the day, because he can't move her during the day. But it sounds like just the Taken version of her. Because she sounds not like herself. There are so many people buried here. That's quite precarious. <laughs> no! The graveyard shift may cause cancer. What the what? But why? Get out of here. <laughs> the graveyard shift. Didn't need to add a battery, but I did, just in case. I was there was another one, but I guess the flare got him? I don't even know.
Hmm. <gasps> yes. Oh, it's safe in here. <laughs> Yay. Let's look around. I'm so scared. I don't want to be over here anymore. We gotta stop exploring in the forest that night. <laughs> it just always ends up that way, doesn't it? <laughs> when will we learn our lesson? Because it's like so peaceful during the day. Honestly, it's so beautiful here during the day. But then that night comes and it's foggy and misty and creepy. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. Damn. A century. A pipe, you better fucking watch it. I'm watching you. <laughs> you ain't getting me this. Stop it. <laughs> the pipes are coming for me again. I knew it. Oh, I panicked. <laughs> As you can tell. <laughs> It over there, but hold on. I want to see in here first. Can I get in here somehow? Is there a door to this building? Hold on. Dude, this building doesn't even have a door, just windows. <laughs> The door is boarded up. Hmm. Odd. <laughs> is there anything in there? I don't see anything. Nope. Yeah, the door is boarded up. Hmm. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Hmm. Interesting. I see, like, pages. Like, there's so many. So many pages. I don't trust this bridge. It was making noises before. <laughs> Grey Peak Gorge, originally founded in 1928, the Grey Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years were buried there, a grim reminder to be careful of those who remained. Grey Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the, bridge, when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. When everything changed... Out of my way. Let me in there, box. <laughs> yeah, I can go in this one. Nice. <gasps> Coffee. I'll be real upset if the coffee starts attacking me. <laughs> Here. 
I'd love to see it during the day. Not at night time. That would be nice. Mm. Any pages around here? I walked all the way over here. <laughs> I thought I found something secret and <laughs> there was no page. I've been fooled. Man, why don't we go check in on Barry? <laughs> Is that a page over there? Oh, great. No. Tree deflection. They're here. <laughs> Use the trees. It's the only way. Oh, not more. No more, please. Not the tractor. Oh, it's not a tree, it's a pole. I mean, it is a tree. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Bam. Oh no, another one. No, I keep doing that on accident. I don't want to talk about it. I panic. <laughs> Let's get out of the way. There we go. Surely stable, you know, abandoned since the 1970s. <laughs> I won't die. I'll be fine. Hey, you know where to go? <laughs> Over. Oh, I see. Hmm. Oh my. The boss. There we go. Oh no. Not more of you. You guys suck because <laughs> I don't want to use all my batteries. I'll just put one in. One more. There we go. Iron horse. Hmm. Key. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Random key obtained. <laughs> Mug. I mean, sorry. Oh. Lovely. Hopefully, no one was stuck in there when that happened. Is this. Hmm. Oh. Awesome. Interesting. That looks pretty well taken care of. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. 
I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet <laughs> and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Oh. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. Hmm. I wonder if he... If Thomas Zane started this all, created everything. Um, and I don't want the hunting rifle. I like the shotgun. <laughs> and I want to get rid of it. <laughs> Hmm. Whoa. Let's not jump off the ledge. Oh, I'm so jarring. <laughs> Sounds like a woman screaming. Kidnapper had sent me a text. A reception? The message was full of spelling errors and insults. <laughs> it was telling me to hurry up. Spelling errors and insults. Is he drunk? Oh, thank God. That's a lot, too. I have nine bullets anyways. Perfect. Let's get out of here. I mean... Is this the peak of it? Must be pretty close, right? Hmm. No. Birds. Birds. Are you coming too? Okay, I think birds are gone. I know, seems like there's more of them. Let's run. off slowly. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. 
danger. Um, do you want me to jump down there? <laughs> I guess so. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is surely safe. I'm okay in here. <laughs> this will be fine. Like there's creepy noises everywhere. Mm. Oh, it's so tight in here. So <laughs> hard to see. Tunnels. Ooh, tunnels go to call. It's creeping me out. <laughs> this is really creepy. Sounds like it's behind me, not this way. Give me. Yes. Oh, there's a page down there. Oh man. <laughs> Which way should I go? <laughs> Let me go over here really quick. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should go the other way. Seems like okay. That seems way further. I don't know. Where should I go? <laughs> There's two possible paths, and I can't tell. But I see a page over here. But what if this is the right way to go? But I don't hear the voice when I come this way. So. It must not be? Hmm. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Mm -mm. You do what you have to do to get the job done. Interesting. Under my spell, huh? Come on in. Oh my, what hit me? Jesus. I was just not reloaded. Did I not kill you over there? Okay. Should I get the hunting rifle now? I don't know. Is there more shotgun shells? Oh, it was just ammo for it. Maybe I should have grabbed it. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Thanks for opening up a path for me. Hmm. But what about the other way where I heard the voice? Should I have gone that way instead? Maybe it's all connected. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. 
Lovely. Old machinery that hasn't been used that <laughs> we're just gonna press buttons. Perfect. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> oh, I can just jump there though. Yeah, this will be fine. Whee! Okay. And I'm curious about what was the other way? I don't know. So hard to know which way. <laughs> Should have investigated the noise. Interesting. Can I knock you down? Oh, I can. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Perfect. Let's just hope it sounds... It's creaking. <laughs> I'm a little worried. But let's just hope that it's all okay. Interesting. Off we go. Whee. I probably couldn't we do that to so many other things. <laughs> hmm. If I go down, the birds. Bird's gone. I'm just gonna keep moving forward. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Hmm. Are we on the wrong mountain or something? <laughs> I think we're the highest you can be. <laughs> Maybe I do have to go down. <gasps> A page. Give me. Oh. That's pretty cool. We're not going to the peak of that, are we? <laughs> Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mulnir, wench. He brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. We're on a comeback tour, baby. What? <laughs> this is the most... Lightning flashed behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. This is... Interesting. And that seems to be where that one Dr. Hartman, right? That's where he is. And is this, like, one of his patients, maybe? Um... Whee. Okay, that hurt too. <laughs> don't break your legs. <laughs> I don't recommend it. It was a very interesting page. Time to leave now. Man, I wanna go back. <laughs> I wanna go investigate that noise now. See, now I'm not too sure.
This guy has me on a journey. Why do you want to meet so far? <laughs> My god. Oh, light. Oh, great. Another cable car. Mm. Just great. <laughs> yeah. Let's hope this one doesn't break, right? Oh, I need a break, though. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> Just don't break, and we'll be fine. Man, it goes so slow. No birds. Oh, jeez, there's so many. Okay. Oh, is there more? There's more. There is indeed more. No. Stop it. Oh, great. No, no. No. <laughs> hey. Some pretty good balance that he had right there. This guy's fast. Whoa. They're really weak, though. They're really fast. It's terrifying. Stop it. Oh my. running for this over here. <laughs> I almost got crushed. Deleted. <laughs> Get up. Was it worth that? No. I meant to do that. <laughs> I thought I had this equipped. <laughs> um, thanks for almost murdering me. Are you hiding anything over here? <laughs> Nope. Okay. <laughs> Where, where'd this even come from? It's like the plane. At first I thought this that people were just going crazy, you know? But now, this thing's like a tornado. It just keeps picking up things and dropping them. But they all seem very old, which is also interesting. Anyone here? There's fast ones now. I'm not sure how I feel about it. <laughs> Should I take this? Mm. Fourteen. Seventeen versus one. Eleven. I guess I'll take it. Fine. But I heard someone behind me. The heck? <laughs> I swear I heard someone behind me. <laughs> Get out of here. Oh, now they're the same. I can take either. <laughs> I'll hold on to this for now, I guess. Got a tree. Looks like a person. Let's just get out of here. I'm over this forest today. 
A cauldron lake? Cauldron Lake, the eighth deepest lake in the world. Cauldron Lake is the caldera formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it's not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even then, the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there was no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in the many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for the area residents. So no casualties in the explosion. That's odd. What about Thomas Zane then? How did he die? Because we know Barbara J Jagger died before the explosion. But when did Thomas Zane die? It's a tough hill to get up, huh? Go, 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 go. No. I swear. If another thing breaks on this, <laughs> I will lose my mind. Oh. Oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Checkpoint, huh? Over here. <laughs> Can I come back up? Mm, maybe. That's a big maybe. And look around first. Oh! Oh, nice. Glad I looked around. Oh, so much. Flares. Saving them. <laughs> Give me. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them, and the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Mott stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. So we literally parked our car, walked over there, and it disappeared. Like, we just walked into something that didn't exist. We walked into the past. <laughs> Who's your boss, though? I think Mott and Nightingale are working together. Hmm. walking <laughs> got some powerful kicks whoa it's a nice building what 
makes that noise. Interesting. Thermos. <laughs> Taunting me from beyond the door. You talk to me on TV. Tom. Talk to me on TV. Thomas Zane? C W. I miss you, Tom. Tom. Oh my god! Cynthia Weaver and Thomas Zane. But Thomas Zane loved his the one girl, uh, Barbara Jagger. Do you think Cynthia Weaver caused all of this? Ooh. Love triangle I was not expecting. Tom, 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 Tom. <laughs> I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? This is, this is weird. <laughs> oh my god, there's so much. I curse you, Thomas Zane. This has to be. Oh, this is wild. Is there a door? Can I leave? Oh, there's a staircase. <laughs> This is creepy. The plot thickens. Shotgun ammo, and I dropped my shotgun. <laughs> Damn it. Come on, house. Don't have your pipes attack me, please. So many flares. Oh, oh, what was that? Batteries. God, this is... It's so good. <laughs> Cynthia Weaver seems to have a lot more involvement in this than simply just knowing them. Oh my... Go again. Who's next, huh? Show you this. What are you doing up there, huh? you're reloaded for moments like that <laughs> never know when you're just gonna fall through the floor oh. mm. man I want to get back to town I have so many questions to ask so many people <laughs> I don't think Mott has shit, personally. I may be crazy. I could see Cauldron Lake. I thought I could make out the spot where the island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Interesting. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. I tried to hold mm. on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. Mm -hmm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. For a while now? When's this gonna happen? 
How much longer are we going to be in this town? <laughs> it's Dr. Hartman gaslighting us. <laughs> it's been 84 years. See, it's two pages regarding Dr. Hartman now. Wait, are you? Wait. Hey, I'm here. I'm coming. Why? So he did. He must have actually had her. Oh. Yes, I knew it. I'm guessing you've met Barbara. <laughs> Just a guess. <laughs> Mm. It's like a tornado. Oh. Into the lake. She dragged her into the lake. Is that Dr. Hartman? It must have been. Oh, there's so much right there. There's so much. It looked like someone wearing a diving, like, old diving suit. Barbara dragged her under the water and it looked like someone in that thing and that turned to be it looked like Dr. Hartman. I'm not too sure. I gotta I gotta know what happens next. Previously on Alan Wake, I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, wheels within running. wheels. I'm giving are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that mm. was a lie. We don't have his I wife. knew it. <laughs> we don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. He was taken. God. The truth. It was just a nightmare. This is the page. Alice. But it would actually be Dr. Hey, Hartman. Hartman? I fell. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right another. now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... You lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just, Just let, let go. Go, 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 go. Hmm. I felt groggy. Hmm. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. Wait a second. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. And this is the lodge? The door was locked. I was a prisoner here. Hey, let me out. Oh, hi. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla <laughs> with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. 
I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Mm -hmm. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go you. over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Mm -hmm. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Mm-hmm. It's groundbreaking techniques, engagement therapy, and the flow explained in his own words. <laughs> Whose room is this? A hey, Night Springs! <laughs> Video games. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Dark. <laughs> Use the light. It's like one's hiding behind a tree. Is it supposed to be a page? Whose room is this? Emerson. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. You know, he's pretty old, too. This way, Alan. No. I'm snooping. I wonder if he knew Thomas Zane and Cynthia Weaver and Barbara Jagger. Why is this one locked, huh? Be in there? Hmm. This one room is pretty barren. Painter. Anderson. Oh, you going in there, huh? Oh, he locked the door. Seems like a lot of people in here seem to have similar problems as if they see these taken people. <laughs> Are you sure? Like, oh, a oh gun. Now, Alan, from mm -hmm. past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. It just doesn't slide. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, paranoid delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped in supernatural. My writings literally said this was going to happen. To what do you, you say about that? Huh? We what do you this say? Way, about Alan? I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But no, under the is. influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. You've been making it up. Mm -hmm. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind oh. trying to protect you from the too painful truth. So we'll talk to Unless Barry then and Rose fight and the fantasy, it will return. I sheriff. know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. No, you're wrong. I don't believe you for one second. <laughs> Beyond the shadow you settle for, there's a miracle illuminated. Thomas Zane, in the memory of a dear friend and a poet. Interesting.
Hmm. Hey, I'm supposed to be following you. Where are you going? Never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Mm -hmm. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. I have to say, this Alan, is a really pretty I'm telling watch. you is good news. <laughs> right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I illness. I let him talk. <laughs> I was going to say, he just keeps going. His, own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Throw him off the ledge. Come along. Let's go inside. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Oh, it's Emerson who had the picture of the Hartman or the drawing. The power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared, but you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay. Okay. Sorry. 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 Boo. I'm coming down. Hold on. Alan, please, this way. <gasps> Ooh, TV. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> it was worth a try. <laughs> might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Mm-hmm. You wait there. Yeah, get him. Oh, you must be the one whose room was painting. But you're painting, huh? That's oh, horrifying. Hello. I've painted you. Okay. <laughs> I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Mm. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Interesting. Hey, what you two guys playing? Wait, are you guys at the diner? <laughs> I feel like they were. Hmm. 
excuse me I'm trying to read <laughs> Welcome to Cauldron Lake Lodge. We're here to give you specialized help you need. However, please observe the following. Please ask friends and family to schedule visits beforehand to ensure they don't interfere with your therapy and our periods of creativity. Also, please respect your fellow patients' need for privacy and personal space, especially when they're engaged in their creative process. Be patient. Typically, our patients have long-term creative problems and they won't be solved overnight. Give yourself permission to take time you need. Bear, that in, bear in mind that you voluntarily receiving treatment that has been specifically tailored for you. Engagement therapy and its sister method, the flow, works best when you're actively engaged in shaping them. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. Engagement therapy and the flow. My rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm Everything's coming. Night springs. Oh, what a storm. <laughs> I hope it wipes the this place game. off the face of the earth. Damn. And these <laughs> two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a, how oh, should I put this? Oh. A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. Well, that explains that one page now. <laughs> first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Um, hold on. What was that page called? Tor hits Lightning Nurse Sinclair. Flash behind the windows of Cauldron Lake Lodge. Tor Anderson laughed and held the steel hammer above his head. Nurse Sinclair was trying to calm him down without success. Tor grinned madly and shouted, My hammer's up. Here's a friendly poke from Mjolnir, wench. He <laughs> brought the hammer down with all his might on Sinclair's head. Um, We're hey, just so you know, <laughs> that's probably oh, gonna happen. Oh! <laughs> I'm so sorry to cut this short for now, Alan. The power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. Really but he's holding a toy pets. hammer. Do you think it's just this toy what hammer? And not a real hammer? <laughs> the like page sounded worse. With a hammer. Oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else? could understand the world when it's like this. It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The you're all right, Tom. Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down. Mm, the, yep. We need to forget a crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Is it a page? It is. <gasps> Zane could feel the poems taking form, shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear too. If not for his young assistant Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He too had a way with words. Interesting. Emil, huh? And they called me Thomas Zane. Does that mean that? How long have they been in here in this lake lodge for them to know uh, Thomas Zane? Apparently, I remind them of him too. My head was Very clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Mm. Oh, of I course. Just noticed leather patches on the elbows. 
That's not very rock and roll. Hey. Tom just lost I'm done. his all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She used us all. Taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens. What was it? What were they? <laughs> Memory and thought. The hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're Barbara. better off. Barbara. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, hot dog. Nightmare shifted in the So it's taking, it takes control of artists, which is really rain. interesting. It, it's like it needs that creative <laughs> yeah, that's touch the one. to come she to life. Make sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other Cynthia writer. Weaver. She's been using you, boy, and you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden, old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, <laughs> You two have so fun in tired. here. I'm tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> that Bob Balder threw the app through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head, 15 stitches of the concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Bad scene. Well, <laughs> this has gotten quite crazy. It seems like we're being told that we've been here for a while, that we've been a patient for a while, that he's had to go through this with us multiple times, that this is all just our imagination. Yet we don't see Barry. We don't know where Rose is either. But we do know that they have been taken. Well, not taken. They've been held in jail. Let's not use the word taken because now I'm just going to keep the. <laughs> they've been captured by the police. <laughs> These two old guys are calling me Thomas Zane, which makes me think that Thomas also spent time here. And maybe he came to this town for the same reason we did. Uh, God, there's so much. Cynthia Weaver loved Thomas Zane, was in love with him, but he loved Barbara Jagger. There's so many little things. I don't even know. There's just so much. <laughs> I'm going to keep playing, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Huge thanks to all my patrons. Have a nice night, everyone.